my friends welcome back to my channel I hope you're having a wonderful day today in today's video I'm gonna be doing a fun tag video I love doing tag videos like this and I thought this one was a really really fun one and I was tagged by the lovely Lux Purse Love or Melinda if you haven't checked out her channel make sure to do so she does a lot of reviews and her voice is just so soothing and sweet and she's just a very lovely person so if you haven't checked her videos out make sure to do so and this tag is I was influenced we all know if we're on Instagram if we're on YouTube if we're on TikTok. I don't have TikTok, but I know that I have been heavily influenced by things I see on Instagram or things that I see from other youtubers especially youtubers that I trust and love their style and so I have a couple items here that I want to share of things that have been influenced by other youtubers or Instagrammers and I will be sure to mention their name some items are from one person other items are from like two or three people and then there are a couple that it's just like overall I was influenced because I saw it from so many places so I will be sure that if there is a specific person that influenced me I will tell you who they are and I will list their name down below there are a few influencers that I absolutely love so I have been influenced multiple times by the items so I think we're gonna start with something that I 100% was influenced by. There is no way I would have purchased this item had I not seen it on the person. And you have probably heard me talk about this before because anytime I mention this bag, usually I will mention her name. And it is the Louis Vuitton P Palm Springs mini backpack. I was heavily influenced by Mia Mia Mine on Instagram or Maria Vizuet. I'm pretty sure she does have a YouTube channel as well, but I think she's more so active on Instagram. I am obsessed with her style and I am not a backpack girl, but when I saw her style this crossbody, I thought, oh my gosh, that is so adorable. So I was highly influenced. If you're not familiar with the Palm Springs mini backpack, it does have a little compartment here, which you can probably put chapstick or something like that, but the zipper is a little challenging to open because of this flap, so I don't really use it that much. But I do love it because I have the newer version and has a smooth zipper and on the inside compartment you can fit quite a bit. I love the fact that it has a top handle and the cool thing about this book bag as well is you can wear it as a book bag or you can wear it as a crossbody. I never carry it as a book bag just because I'm not really a book bag type of gal. I always wear it crossbody but I was heavily influenced by her. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you totally should, especially if you're looking for like fashion inspirations. She is so creative with her outfits and everything looks so good on her, which is probably why I was suckered into purchasing this bag because had I not seen it on Maria, I don't know that I would have purchased that bag and it's definitely a good one. I definitely don't use it as much as I thought I would, but I was heavily influenced to purchase it. All right, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that for years now, the one that got away from me was the Chanel mini square. I was blessed enough to purchase this bag. It is a vintage item from the beautiful Guru Edit on Instagram. She knows Chanel like the back of her hand so make sure to check it out but she had one of these. It was the particular mini square with the edge stitching. So you see how you can see the edge stitching and then it has the 24k gold hardware, beautiful back pocket. It is caviar. This bag was so hard to get. I first saw this bag on two people. Lux Mommy, who she is so stylish and fashionable. She has a YouTube channel and Instagram page as well. And Chase Amy. And I saw this bag and I was in love. And I have been on the hunt for this bag ever since. It has taken me years. And I finally found it around Christmas time. Again, from the Guru Edit had one. And I put it under the Christmas tree. I waited. I unboxed. If you want to check out that unboxing, make sure to do so. It is a true unboxing. And I was so grateful to get it. I am definitely a handbag collector. And I I was so blessed to get it in my collection and I know that for a while the Chanel mini square was popular then 
mini bags kind of went away and then like big bags became popular but I was just something about the looks of this bag I wanted to add a mini square but I feel like had I added any other mini square it just would not have compared and I'm so happy I added this I wear this now for special occasions I did wear this the other day with like a camel coat it is a little small but it is so so cute I absolutely love it and I was truly influenced by those two lovely ladies okay I do not have this with me, but I will insert close-ups. I was, this is a beauty product that I was highly influenced by. So I was influenced by three people, and it is the Snail Mucin. I have two, I have the serum, and then I also have the little moisturizer that comes in a tub. When I first heard about this, I thought it was so gross, but Jaclyn Hill, her skin always looks beautiful. Not only did Jaclyn Hill rave about this, but Tati Westbrook, who is a beauty guru, she knows so much about makeup, she mentioned it, and then she Shea Whitney did as well and if all three of those people raved about it I knew that I had to try it so I ordered it on Amazon I did try it in an Instagram story and I will tell you if you're someone that's looking for moisture and you want your skin to be like smooth and soft I would highly recommend it make sure you get the Coast RX brand I made the mistake the first time one of them I bought the, the wrong brand but it definitely hydrates my skin I normally have an oily t-zone but I tried it out and it really does a good job of moisturizing my skin. When I run out, I definitely will be buying more and it is rather affordable. Now, I will be honest, when you first try it out, it is a little gross because again, you are putting the secretions from a snail on your face. I was really, really grossed out. Actually, I think in the Instagram story, it was kind of funny, like some of it went on my mouth when I was trying it out. I was like, ugh. But you eventually get past that, and now what I do every night before I go to bed, I put that on, and then I put it on in the morning before my makeup. Like I do have it on underneath my makeup today, but it is really like gooey, especially the serum. So once you get past that, you'll be fine, but oh my gosh, I have definitely noticed a difference in my skin. I've been using it for, I would say maybe about a month now, but when those three ladies mentioned it, I knew that I had to pick it up. All right, this next bag, I was highly influenced by Mia Mia Mine as well. I love her. She is one of my favorite influencers. I just love her style. And years ago, when I started getting into like luxury bags, I saw her, she was wearing the YSL large envelope bag and she had it in the beautiful beige and I thought it was lovely but for me because I wore a lot of black I thought well the beige is pretty but I feel as though black would suit me better so she was the one that started my fascination with the YSL envelope bag because like I said she just styled it so beautifully and it looks so pretty and I love the structured nature of it and I thought this is going to be great for work and I know I have told you like I wear this bag to work a lot I love it it's got the sturdy leather, you have the quilting here and you have the chevron here. There is a back pocket and then when you open it up, it is just one large compartment. So I have this bag in black and then this bag came available. I got this on sale from Saks Fifth Avenue and it is in like the beautiful marble pink. So she truly influenced me to get this bag. I love it so much. Now you guys might recall, here is a little update for you. I don't know if I've shared this with everybody. So you might recall that Nordstrom was having a huge 40% off sale uh, a little before Christmas time. And I was able to score the YSL bag in the beautiful cream for 40% off. Well, I ordered it, I got it, and there was, some, there was a stitching coming out. I did a whole post on Instagram asking you guys what you would do. And after much thought, I reached out to my sales associate, Nick, who was amazing. He said, go ahead, return the bag. I'll order you another one. So he ordered me another one. You guys, I got it in the mail and there was another stitching out of it on another part of the bag. So unfortunately, I had already like paid my Nordstrom bill. So there was a credit back on my Nordstrom account, but luckily Nordstrom is great. You can just call them and they'll send you the check back. So I did end up returning the cream bag, even though I got it for such a good deal. I just thought, gosh, with the quality issues, I just don't, I don't want to try again. I'll just save that money for something else in the future. But these two bags have held up amazing you know i love the leather but mia mia mine or maria she definitely inspired me to get the envelope bag that's who i saw the bag on first okay let's talk about the og 
of luxury content. If you guys are into luxury handbags, luxury content, then I know you know who Jerusha Couture is. She is the OG luxury YouTuber. She has been around for such a long time and is such great content. And I have always been into brooches, like Chanel brooches. I, I own a Chanel brooch. I love the Chanel brooch. I knew I wanted to get another one, but I wasn't sure what kind of brooch I wanted until I was watching one of Jerusha's videos and she was wearing a black YSL brooch and I'm like oh my gosh that black YSL brooch it looks so lovely on her that's the next brooch I want to buy and it worked out because I got the, the YSL brooch I actually featured it I unboxed it in unboxed it in this video here but the reason another reason I thought the YSL brooch would be perfect for me is because since I did have the YSL envelope bag I thought it would look really nice so I wore that to work one day I think I had a black blazer on but Jerusha a lot of times will wear that brooch as well and it looks so lovely on her so I even though I loved Chanel brooches I didn't know what other brooch I wanted to get and when I saw it on her I was like that's the one I want it looks perfect on her and I want to add one to my collection as well. Let's talk about two affordable items and I was highly influenced by Shay Whitney. I adore Shay. I have been lucky enough to kind of message with her a couple of times and she was actually very helpful to me when my YouTube channel was hacked but if you're looking for someone to go to if you want cool little ideas for around the house or affordable items um, definitely check out her channel. She is amazing to deal with and she's so sweet but she influenced me to buy two things. She's probably influenced me to buy a lot more but these are the two things that stand out the first item is a little makeup bag and again I don't have it here so I am gonna insert a close-up this little makeup bag I think went viral a lot of people started talking about it but I want I feel like she was one of the first but it's like 20 bucks I got it in pink and I also have it in black as well the pink one I used for my makeup and the black one I used for like my hair products but you just put it has two little compartments and a center compartment you put all of your things in it and when you get to your destination when you travel you just open it up and the bag opens up so all of your things are spread out like your makeup and it's just easy to access your things so I love that so much that I ended up getting two another thing she influenced me to get is I really wanted to put some of my nicer handbags on display but I just wasn't sure the right way to do it. And she found these really cool purse hooks on Amazon. So I actually bought two of them. I have one that my Lady Dior is on. And then I have another one which in my closet my Chanel classic flap is displayed. That was the first Chanel bag I'd ever purchased. So it's very special to me. I remember saving my money. I purchased it. So I wanted to display it. So they have some really cool purse hooks. I got them in silver. But they also have gold if you're interested. But I was highly influenced by Shay. She just does a lot of like great Amazon videos so check her out and she has like I said influenced me with so many things but those are the two that stand out the most and the snail musin as well. Let's talk about a fashion blogger and I love her as well. Her name is Whitney Rife and I would say we are similar in the sense where a lot of people like neutrals but she loves color. I love color. A lot of things that she wears I'm like I would totally wear that because I love color. So I've been influenced by a few things from her but I would say the one that I purchased maybe a year or two ago, maybe it was two years ago, was this um, Gucci scarf. It is so lovely. So um, this is in the beautiful lavender, and then on the other side, it is a pretty beige. So I like these scarves so much, they ended up purchasing two. So I have it in the purple, and then I also have it in the turquoise, and then the other side is beige as well but again Whitney shares so many good things but I love it because as much as I love people look when they have like a nice neutral outfit she shares so many like colorful looks and I just love like watching her every day so she 100% influenced me to you pick up this Gucci scarf she shared it when it was on sale so I jumped on it I even shared it with you guys as well but so so cute love it and I love her to pieces okay hey, let's talk about an item that I when I first saw this item I'd be like I don't know what the fuss is about like why would you pay so much money for that item but boy has my mind changed and it what I'm wearing I will insert a clip of what it looks like full length and two people influenced me on this. I saw Mia Mia Mine wear this. It's a Zimmerman dress and she had the shorter version. And then I also saw another luxury YouTuber. Her name is Maria Dragonova. If you guys have not 
checked her out, which I'm sure if you guys are watching my channel, you've probably checked her out because she has a luxury channel and she exudes class. Like her outfits are always so put together and beautiful and I just, oh my gosh, I love her style. But she wears a lot of Zimmerman dresses and Mia Mia Mine, I saw her with the shorter version. So I happened to be on like Farfetch one day and actually I think I unboxed this in one of my Farfetch unboxings, but I saw this dress and I thought, oh my God, that dress would be perfect for like Easter or graduation. And again, when I first saw them, I thought, oh my God, that's like kind of is it giving total like little house on the prairie vibes like i don't know but i just got this one and i'll tell you i am someone that i like to change my outfits and stuff frequently but i've already worn this dress i want to say like three times and usually for special occasions i like to you know buy new outfits but i've worn this for easter i wore this for like my anniversary dinner with my husband there was one other time i wore it as well and i just love it so i don't have the same dress that they have but i was truly inspired by both of those ladies to get this dress because i saw that it looks so lovely on them that i was like you know what maybe i will give that brand a try and i'm so happy i did so much so that i really want to invest in another one but i'm waiting for them to go on sale because i know i've mentioned to you guys that i like to invest in hand bags but clothing items because I change them like so frequently I don't like to ins to like invest a lot of money so I think I'm gonna wait for another one to go on sale and then um, pick another one up all right I want to um, talk about a couple fragrances and I have two to share and for both of these I was inspired by the lovely Erin Nicole once again she's another youtuber she has such an amazing channel and if you want to talk about someone who speaks eloquently check her out she speaks so nice and I I, I watched one of her Q&A videos before and um, she was in broadcasting but she just speaks so nicely she doesn't say a lot of likes and ums and I love listening to her but she does a lot of luxury fragrance videos and I would say I was inspired by two the first one would you believe she is the one that got me hooked on Baccarat Rouge 540 this was a couple years ago and she mentioned that this was one of the best fragrances so I thought you know everyone talks about that I have to try it she's the one that got me to want to try it I love this it's a very sexy good date night scent it's thanks to her that I tried it another fragrance that I probably would not have tried had it not been for her is by the brand and Roja perfume. So this is actually a different perfume than she recommended. I think the one she recommended was oh, 51 or something like that. I can't think of the one, but because she mentioned this, I happened to be a Nima Marcus and I was like, well, let me try that brand. So I ended up getting Roja Reckless. This one smells really, really nice and I love it, but the bottle is so beautiful as well. I don't even know how to describe this scent, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the notes up, but had I not seen her talking about this particular fragrance brand, I don't know that I ever would have checked them out. So yeah, she got me turned on to this brand, and then she got me turned on to Baccarat Rouge 540, so she is another YouTuber. I would highly recommend checking out her channel. She does a lot of high-end like makeup reviews and makeup tutorials now and I love just listening to her talk about fragrances as well because I love smelling good and I'm always up for splurging on a new fragrance. Two other items and I was influenced by Jaclyn Hill because these two go together and these are once again fragrance items. So she was raving about two items and I saw her talking about it on Instagram stories and then I'm like I'm not gonna get it and then I saw her talking about it a couple days later and then I happened to read one of her like comments and it was so many people saying oh my god I tried that combination and it smells so good so I was like you know what I, I need to take the plunge I need to try it so she said and let me get it hold on one second okay I had to go grab it so she was raving about a scent combination she said you have got to try the Fenty Beauty but a drop. This is like, um, you're almost like you're lathering and bathing in like a cinnamon roll. And then you combine it with the Killian, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. So the princess perfume. So this one smells like a dessert, but this one is a little more of a sweeter scent. But would you put them together? They smell so good and she is so right. Would you believe this is my third tub? So I... 
love it this is a new one so when I get out of the shower after I shave my legs I lather myself in this and it just smells so sweet it smells like a dessert and then I will spray myself with this you can see like look how much I've used of this and it's hard to do I do have quite the fragrance collection but this has been like a go-to lately and Jaclyn Hill raved about it and she is so right I love this combination together so I will link both of these together I will try to actually link everything I mentioned in today's video down below or up on the screen but this combination is so good trust me and I'm worried because this right here I've gone into Sephora a couple times and they haven't had it and they've been out like sold out online so I hope it doesn't sell out I might try to buy a couple more just to stock up because I just love this combination and I was influenced by Jaclyn Hill now I have two items that there's not anyone in particular that I was influenced by I would say I was influenced by everybody because almost everybody had these when they came out and the first item is this little nano speedy when this first came out this was so hard to get but I saw it everywhere and I was like oh my god that is the cutest little thing and I have to have it in my collection I knew that when I saw like what fit I had to get it and this is very un amber like but usually I was like you know what I'm not gonna pay a premium for bags but I actually got this bag through a personal shopper so I paid a premium I want to say this bag was around 12 something in the boutique and I ended up purchasing it like for 15 so I paid like over which I never do and I'm kicking myself let me tell you why because I went through a personal shopper and then would you believe two days after I got this from a personal shopper my sales associate reached out to me and said he had one so I was like shoot that's what I get. I need to be more patient, but sometimes patience gets the best of me. But I love this. It is the cutest little thing. Now, the version I have does have the strap that is not removable. There is a newer version where the strap, I think, is adjustable and removable. But this is just the cutest little bag, and I saw it all over the place, and I couldn't resist. I had to add it to my collection. And I know I've told you guys that I did spray it with Apple Guard. I did a whole video on it and it still looks great. I also did spray my luggage with Apple Guard too, and I just love the way that it turns out. But that is one item I was um, influenced by. Now let's talk about an item I was influenced by, and I hate them. That's right, I hate this item. You see Aran sandals. Everybody has these shoes, and you know what? They look so cute, and I was like, oh my God, you know what? I really wanna get a pair, and I happened to check the website one day. They had them in the gold. I'm like, these are gonna match my Chloe tote really well. They're gonna match a couple of my other items really well. <sighs> I'm gonna try to insert a clip but these bad boys give me blisters. Now, a lot of people have said, wear socks, wear the sandals with the socks. You, know, you can break them in. So I don't plan on selling these because they are so cute. I really wanna wear them. They do fit into my summer wardrobe, but when I say I hate them, it's mainly because I don't know if it's just my feet, if I have wide feet, but I have worn them a couple of times and I just continue to get blisters. And it's not just like regular blisters. It's like the bad blisters that take a long time to go away. So it might just be my feet, but I have seen these everywhere. And almost most of the people I talk to say they're comfortable. So I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, I ended up featuring these, I want to say in my worst luxury purchases, but I wanted them to work so bad and I'm still trying to make them work. But this is something I was 100% influenced by almost every single luxury YouTuber that has them because you know why? They have so many beautiful colors and would you believe, I know, you're gonna think I'm crazy. I've been tempted to get another pair even though they're not comfortable and they give me blisters. Amber, what is wrong with you? They have like the most beautiful green, I think it was called Vert Fizz, but I thought, when are you gonna wear that? So I don't know, I'm just, I was highly influenced and you can see I'm obviously still being influenced by them because I still see them and I wanna get them, but I am hoping and praying that these will eventually work out for me someday. Okay guys, there you have it. Those are all the influencers I was influenced by. And I would love to know in the comments, what were you guys influenced by? Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, they're such great platforms, but boy, can they be bad when it comes to your wallet because I will see things and you're like, oh my God, that's so cute. But what I'm trying to tell myself now is when I look for things now, I really have to think, is that going to fit my lifestyle? Is it gonna fit in my wardrobe? Because sometimes I will get so trigger happy when it comes to to buying something that I don't take the time to think, is that really gonna fit in my wardrobe or does it just look good on them? So luckily most of these items, most of these purchases did fit and they did 
well other than these but I'm still trying to make them work so I will try to link all these items down below I will also list the influencer who influenced me on these items and then I will tag a couple ladies as well and again let me know in the comments what were you influenced to buy it's so fun to talk about this and thanks again to the lovely Lux Purse Love for tagging me to this video this was such a fun one I truly appreciate it if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video Wish me the